Let me show you how to create vertical short form videos in Camtasia. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. All right, so what you are looking at is a vertical short video that I created for one of our clients. So if you don't already know, the trend right now is to post these really short clips of videos and you post them like on YouTube Shorts, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, all the social media places. So let me show you how I made this one in Camtasia. First, you want to start off with the dimension of your project, the dimension of the canvas. The last thing you want to do is, you know, format everything, put all your stuff, text, shapes, and everything, and then realize that you're not in vertical shape and then you have to go and change everything because if you go from regular rectangle to this vertical cell phone shape, it's going to mess up the sizing of everything and it's like you're going to be editing it twice. So do yourself a favor, head over to file, go to project settings and go to canvas dimensions and choose the one that you want. I just went down to iOS devices and just chose like a regular cell phone. So I just chose iPhone and then I click apply. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to find the section of the video that you're going to make into a short. So this is actually from a podcast that my client did. And you'll see here, there was two of them and it was like an interview style thing. And so I edited this. And so I know which parts to make the short form content, the short. So you want to make sure you go through your clip, however long it is. This one was like 20 something minutes. And I found a clip that ended up being 44 seconds. Ideally, you definitely want it to be less than a minute because most of the platforms want it to be less than a minute. And most people honestly are watching short form content like for 30 seconds. So let's head back here. And I ended up right here choosing that part. I then cropped it so that it was only my client here. You saw that there was two of them, but I only wanted the part where it was just her speaking. So I cropped out the other person in the interview and I left only her. And then I made sure to remove any gaps, words, anything that you don't want in the actual audio. Again, you want to do this first before heading to the text portion, the captioning part because you want to get it as short as possible because you don't want to have to do that afterwards and, you know, have to rearrange and remove everything. So after that was done, I added an overall white shape. So they, they like things to be clean, sophisticated, professional looking because they are in, you know, the business of getting businesses and corporations as their clients. So that's why it's got like a nice white clean background and this is just literally a rectangle shape that I went to my favorites, grabbed a white shape, dragged it down and shaped it to the canvas of the cell phone shape. Put that behind, the video is on top of that and then the last part which is the most tedious part is the closed captioning, is adding the text and in Camtasia this does need to be done manually. So I actually had to go through and it's a listening game. So you have to do the listening game. And what I did was I grabbed the shape with text on top of it. So I grabbed this one and all I did was change the color to match the branding. So I went over here, you see that it's black. And if you grab the dropper, all I did was hover over to grab the color of their branding and their logo, which is already on this video. And then that's how I was able to, to get the exact match to match it. And then I changed the text to bold and then that was it. And that's sort of the, the style of the shape and the text that I wanted. All I did was listen and type. So I would take a shape here, I would play it. So I try to stop at 
certain pauses. It could be a sentence. It could be one word. It could be a couple of words. Every time she does a pause, I stop and I shape. So I'll do it again here. I'll bring this back down. Change the color of it. Every time she said something, right, the first one was, the main question you need to ask yourself is, so that's what she says, so I would play it, right, so it's like cliffhanger, what is the main question you need to be asking yourself? So right when I stop the playhead, I move this. And then I start typing what I heard. So I'm going to shape it. So I just shaped it according to the size of the video. The And I added some dot dot dot. And then I would literally take that. Oops. put it down, let's just put it down here just to show you. And then, so I would size the first one, right? And then what I would do is I would copy it, control C, I'm on a PC, and then move the playhead, control V. And so it copied the exact duplicate thing. And then I would put it directly against the first one and then I would play again. What is she saying? And then stop. Right, she stopped right there. Can I lead myself? And then I would stop it, and then I would size it, and then I would change the text. Can I lead myself? Question mark, that's what she says. And then I would play it back. I like to personally play it back from the beginning just to make sure that I have it precise. It's not gonna be too long of a wait because it's only 44 seconds. And then I just go through and duplicate the whole process over and over until I get to the end of the video. So you wanna make sure that before you even get to this point that you size the whole canvas, you added your background, you've edited the actual audio and actual visual of the video. Is it the right size? Did you remove the dead air that you don't want? Did you remove the mistakes? And then the final step is to add the text. And this is the longest part, adding the text, because you, it's like a listening game. You have to listen to it, and then you type it out. Listen to it, type it out, listen to it, type it out. So that's how I did it in Camtasia. And I thought this might be useful for you guys to try out if you are wanting to create vertical short form videos in Camtasia for yourself. Hit the thumbs up button if you thought this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.